welcome welcome back guys and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to make professional looking eye catching thumbnails for your youtube channel right now we're going to be using bandicam and we're going to be screenshotting you could change this for whatever you want all right um these are my settings on bandicam so this is my settings on bandicam here right so if you want to use the program you could copy these settings right so we're gonna use bandicam you're gonna press f9 to spam the image so you'll get different angles and then we will work on it right so i feel i'll be using which game today should i use to do the thumbnail um i will use call of duty 4 modern warfare right so we will go into the game use bandicam this is for this this is um for desktop um recording this section is for game recording right so screen recording desktop and it's for game so i will switch to game mode and i'll go in the game and i will take a bunch of Im images different um angles and then i will edit it and show you all um on how to make it thumbnails right so when it's finished you'll get something like this uh get something like this hold on all right you could either um you could leave these things or you could remove it see leave it or you can remove it so i will show you how to do that today so yeah let's get into the to the um uh, tutorial right i'll be back all right guys we need game right so we're gonna take some screenshots now by pressing the number pad nine and and an r to reload so you'll get different angles right so i'll show you how to do that we uh, don't want to join our silver because if you join our silver you will get killed and you wouldn't be able to take the screenshot good so go back and create a new stover and just go down here change the game mode to free for all and change the minutes to unlimited all right so that's that and then yeah we will use this map countdown and we will start the silver right so i'll show you how to do this now right i'll show you how to do this select uh, weapon you can select this let's do this all right guys in the game so you want to look for the best um best um part of the map because you want to get a nice you know so look. you see this part that's showing the sun you can use this part here so you'll get the glare and stuff let's um, look over this side here Maybe we can stand up on top here. Alright, this 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 this, this looks perfect, right? And then you left click to shoot the weapon. Press number pad nine and press R to reload. So you see? You got a lot of um screenshots there. So after that now you'll go back to where you take the screenshots and you will select the best one, right? So I will show you all that now, alright? So I'll be back. Alright guys, so you are back here right now, right? So as you can see I'm recording. So this is the Bandicam is recording here, right? So you will just go to your pictures, keep scrolling, and you will see you see different um different um angles. So you select which one is the best for you and then you will go to edit it, right? Um I will choose this one, right? I will choose this one, right? so you just copy right, right click no you um sorry left click right left click and then copy then you go to downloads and you um left click again and then paste so we'll be using this to um to um edit right so guys i'll be back all right guys you are back right and this is the image that you know um we, we choose and if you want to remove this thing below here i will show you how to do that right so go to google 
type in this Photopia. Photopia, right? And then click on it. And then you will just drag your image here. Drag your image right here, right? Okay. And then you will select this this spot healing brush. Select it. And you will right click and select this size right select this size okay want right and then you will just yeah draw around here like this all right and then do the follow while it will disappear it doesn't have to be perfect guys but once that part is removed right so uh, i will show you how to fix this because you're gonna blow the image anyway and then you will save this right you will save it you will um, export as a png you want to export it as a png file right or you could export as a jpg so I will use the PNG. Alright. Leave the width here. And just and you can rename this. Thumbnail. And you click see right. So X is off now. And you will go back to the image that you see right, which is this right. So, go right click it, go to open with pain.net right, you open it to pain.net and then you will have this right, don't study that guys, don't mind, do um, study here, you just um, make a background, you duplicate your background right, duplicate and then you go to effects blues you could choose any blue you want but the best one is the gaussian blue right and you'll just like yeah blow the black ground here because this is you don't want to see you don't want to see this so you'll just blow it out until it's not really noticeable all right you'll blow it out um let go to like 15 like that and then you will press ok right then what you're gonna do next right you're gonna select um the eraser tool select eraser go to anti allies rendering click enable click that right and then you will turn the harness down select a brush size that you want and you will untick this right and then you will just erase around the um area that you want i'll put this a little small because i want to um yeah i just want to erase around here first so select a small a size again and that's how you will um you will make a thumbnail and stuff guys you understand pretty simple you understand pretty simple pretty simple it doesn't have to look um perfect guys but once you get the idea once you get the idea this is how you will make a thumbnail all right it doesn't have to be erased um exact but once you get the idea on how to make a thumbnail you know all right so here below here to erase a little more all right okay. seems like i cannot erase here again because already uh like that's already 
but um you all got the idea right you all got the idea where you can make your um thumbnails and stuff so if you have flawless this um example it's pretty easy you understand and then once you put it up on youtube now it will look very good you could also do other effects and stuff but you don't need all of that guys all you just need is something like this you understand so that is how i has made my thumbnails on them um so yeah the background now the blue background you know it really makes the the everything stand out but you could erase around the areas and then clean if you want you don't necessarily say you have to do that but you could you, you, oh, you all get the idea right you all get the idea on what i mean so this is how you will make professional eye catching thumbnails for um your um youtube um channel you could do other effects if you want you know you could do other effects if you want you know other effects whatever you want to do is up to totally up to you but i will recommend that you don't overdo it just leave it simple as this blue background and then you know make everything just stand out so you see the blue background you see the gun you understand this is just a small example guys but when i'm doing it now because this is a tutorial i want to i don't want to take too long i will take my time and erase the edges clean and everything but you all get the idea on what to do right so you could practice use this method and practice and make your thumbnails and things stand out on youtube right so guys this is the free tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you guys um in the next uh, video to come i hope that this was easy to understand i hope that i didn't confuse you all thanks for watching guys and i'll see you all in the next video to come take care and happy new years be safe and don't forget to subscribe and uh, love you all no homo you know one love very love take care guys and all right guys i forget to show you all to see this right so when you're saving this go to file go to save as save it as jpg thumbnail put whatever name you want click save um set everything to the quality to max and then press ok press flatten and that will save your thing and if you want to add text let's add the text tool add the text tool and you write whatever you want right so it's pretty simple guys so i just um had forgotten to show you all this part how to save it so this i will be using this for the thumbnail today guys uh for the tutorial video so take care guys and bye